What you see here is a very serious deformation on my leg that have formed itself sometimes last year in December I have observed one to be already very big like this um, however the room we were in number 40 last year was not as bright as the room we were transferred to about I don't know a month ago or something like that uh, and so in this room this was recorded well more than two weeks ago uh, it's the same thing it doesn't change this it looks like this already for months uh, it became very very evident um, police requested that's why I'm advising the police at this point that in continuation I'm gonna give a detailed explanation about this stuff um, if you like my comments my explanations which I was told at the police station that you're not interested in the politics and stuff like this. Uh, you can go over that, you can listen to the explanation how this thing happened. If you do not, you may just want to skip that part. Uh, again, that's a part where I go and I, you're going to see me talking about this in detail. I mentioned Donald Trump, who had me in some kind of medical office. That office most likely was right here in Poland. Uh, I don't think that the office was overseas or anything like this, but the physician, physician who had over there, they were doing some kind of examinations, definitely was American. You got to pay uh, special attention to my explanation. I'm not saying Donald Trump had me in 2017 in the U.S. That's not what I'm saying at all. But uh, Donald is a scammer, a professional con man, who wanted me to see him as the ultimate solution as a friend indeed uh, take his side over everybody uh, and that included people in Zgirsh and so on uh, against whom he tried to turn me against big time I explained that in continuation once I touch subject known as MK Ultra is instructed to go around the city and recognize store owners, businesses, and stuff like that. Uh, he did a lot of scam, and the last one, the most important one, was as I explained a little bit in continuation. But everything when I go to the city's Gersh, um, the idea was to traumatize with this kind of stuff and gesture, you know, push forward, uh, make himself seen as someone I should see that is concerned for my well-being. That was like his big thing. A physician definitely was an American. It was not only one American, it was, they had Americans and they did engage in this indirect um, conversations out of which victim would draw the conclusion that uh, you know they're doing some kind of very serious stuff research to prevent what's going to be future injury this however all this stuff most likely was done in Poland I would say so this is important stuff to note the law enforcement I don't know I don't I really don't care you can continue to listen I was told again last time that I shouldn't insert my comments and stuff like this. I should just stick to the facts, which it does make sense that you're not interested in my journalism. Uh, may as well as mine stop at this point or whatever. Um, there you can see, you could have seen the injury, but like I said in continuation for the people, uh, for the sake of what is known as MK Ultra, which in this case will be recognized, it's a fact. I have to explain the whole thing, how they did this kind of stuff, what's at least what I was told they're going to do, um, what they have gestured they would do, at least the background of ideas they came up with in my face under MK Ultra. Another fact that needs to be mentioned is that you have no idea. Under MK Ultra, in a million and one time, I was told that when I mentioned this stuff like this, the whole thing is going to stop. It's going to end. So, there is no way 
the person can come forward with the stuff and say anything about absolutely anything. It's a lot of other stuff related to computer hacking, deletion of data, virus, the installed viruses, all kinds of stuff. Uh, created internet problems, which by the way, they still last. The speed here was reduced from 3 megabits per second if you were lucky at times you got. Usually, normal speed was 1.5 megabit per second, but it was reduced. And now, already for a month, we have about maybe uh, three, 400 kilobytes per second. So, that's reduction for about at least three, four times uh, you know, at times even like 10 times less than what we have. And as you know, 3 megabit per second is slow. Now it's like really slow. If you would talk about any other stuff like this, it's over. And over means you're not going to get proofs, you're not going to get anything. A report to even think about the stuff like this would be a mistake. Simple as this. Uh, and, you know, when it comes to physicians, you have seen what it looks like in Poland. You, you got an idea, I'm sure. I am going to explain the whole issue uh, in detail about what's going on. The injury that you have seen became very, very visible already sometimes already sometimes in November I would say December November 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 December December very visible but the injury was inside of the room which is like dark you're not gonna notice I should say unnoticeable for these types of injuries for one thing uh, it was a big thing once I have found one I got to say that I was like uh, stressed about it I think you would be stressed I think anybody would be stressed once you see something like this appears in your leg I did not pay attention to one because uh, I'm just gonna cut right here with one sentence because I couldn't afford one uh, with in respect to physician downstairs in respect to um, what I have experienced when it comes to uh, medical field itself in Poland uh, and foremost, because there were so many proofs I had to go about, gather so much stuff that I have to do, and persist and insist to stay here, uh, it was something that just the temple itself did not allow me to even consider the injury as an injury, but half, I should say, my immune system have listed one on like a total ignore a list until affordable what well, the stuff like this psychologically happens a lot uh, in situations where people face war it is just something that you can't afford to pay attention to uh, until somehow you get out of the situation somehow you can uh, afford yourself to look what what exactly was done to you this pretty much was would be the best description of what i have gone through here uh you don't even know you don't even know half of the stuff uh once i start to publish the stuff more i'm gonna have more videos coming then you're gonna see uh the intensity that this which this stuff was done if you think that uh, what I have gone through was not bad, and I can tell you, I can assure you that whoever would evaluate a situation like this, um, it doesn't matter how professional, psychologist, whatever the person would be, he would, he's gonna tell you that when you go, when if you would put somebody through the stuff like this, he would, he would go mad, literally. So this is exactly why I have not paid attention to.
until I have moved into this new room in which brightness of the room itself indicate that the injury is like very very visible and so I wanted to give this to the internet because because it was part of the MK Ultra deal in 2015 but the thing is that these are such a wild scenarios that surrounding in which you're in coughing like you have no idea what goes on like uh, when I publish certain news what kind of feedback I get literally from the Ruskis here they give me the feedback uh, Ruskis are here to help not to make a problem to make myself clear they don't want to be seen as a terrorist they don't they have prohibited me to use that word under MK Ultra um, I would still not go somehow and disclose the whole background of the injury in 2015 in 2015 the two things happen they're gonna give you a bone cancer we were inside of the lab and I pretty damn sure it was in the US they're gonna give you a a bone cancer and I was inside of the medical office they had me in some kind of medical office and they have inspected and they talked about taking sample of my bone literally of the tissue from my knee area that they gonna give me a bone cancer and before that it was gestured on that MK Ultra from the poly site we're gonna do something that they're not gonna like at all in fact it was throughout this entire MK Ultra it was about trading technologies who has more what kind of technologies all through the US they didn't get anything really from the Russians I don't think the Russia could give them in in in, in field of in, in in this type of technologies absolutely anything at all and so that they're gonna do something like this and they that they not gonna like it this is Americans because Americans like Elon Musk and founder of Amazon and all these people these students the Donald Trump basically created at least this is what was interpreted to me under MK Ultra. They would literally, the US government gestured how they have evaluated lots of people through this process and selected the best out of it. And then it would be the whole generation like this they would push forward. Uh, the variety of people, this is just something I somehow. Um, I'm very skeptical about not the whole thing but big portion of it for various reasons I think that many factors played but let's leave this stuff alone that they are gonna do something because Americans provided the technology the radiation technology which is used to increase the um, hyper blood pre pressure basically turn one into hypertension so that you have a sound and so on and stuff like that um, also other technologies they have used and so it was like all this stuff would be good for me because I would talk about this stuff I would complain about this stuff and people would understand just what the hell I have to go through 
this is what the whole thing how the whole thing was interpreted to me never mind the whole variety of stuff they have used all kinds of issues from brain cancer diagnosis i have not released the audio about the hospital mary itself where there was a physician <laughs> physician that gestured that stuff like this can happen also because of um uh, I don't know how to say that in English, but um, other parts of the body that would not function properly and stuff like this, they have created a whole variety of the stuff. But the hypertension, uh, which can be increased easily through the food poisoning, uh, food poisoning was done in a such a way, let's say tomato, that they would have you one eat under MK Ultra. So when they would repeat this to you in real time and this, and you would feel the same kind of stuff, you would go and undoubtedly you would talk about that stuff. They have done stuff like this. Let's say Hassan grabbed a pack of so-called roommate uh, socks in front of me under MK Ultra and would go and toss them inside of the garbage can. And so you don't understand this type of scenarios under MK Ultra, uh, but when they do the stuff like this to you in real time, um, when half of your socks disappear, you probably would not have, you know, somebody destroying to you on a daily basis stuff, laughing to you in your face with his buddies and stuff like this. Um, Probably that kind of a stuff would make you very, very uncomfortable. And um, what I have reported about the food poisoning, how they have sipped into uh, a coffee mug stuff that have increased uh, blood pressure, boosted blood pressure. These are just a plain facts. And when it comes to radiation, that was entirely American thing. The, the the increase of hypertension are like signs in your head uh, that, that was like totally totally American thing Russians dream about uh, destroying a human being with um, through the high blood pressure by affecting certain parts of your body uh, they did that kind of stuff uh, so the basically body destabilizes. It's like an engine when you destroy a certain part of it the whole thing fails Eventually over time much faster it comes to wear and tear than otherwise would But it was really Americans, you know the good people the good people which again. I'm not saying they're not good most of the people <coughs> under MK Ultra staff members did not agree with this stuff uh, nobody, however, allowed to protest. Actually, some people did, and then we no longer saw them. And if we did saw them, they were really, really crying about the whole thing. This is just the way it was, because, as I was told, it's like we are like a big family, and, and the pops decide about absolutely everything. You know, the pops, the trumps. And there is nothing you possibly, nothing you can do about this. This is the way it was interpreted to me, this whole thing. Um, the good side, the good side, we're going to do something that the good side, however, is not going to like it. They're not going to like it. You know, and, they, and they were really interpreted to me like a good side, like people that are concerned all along. They were concerned, eager to help me out. Uh, I'm not going to forget. M now MK Ultra ended for you. And then, I'm sorry, but we don't have a choice. We had to bring you back. We had to bring you back. They want you back. This is a type of BS. And it was always, they, bad, was Eastern Europeans, which were stupid enough uh, to really do stuff that was really in line, really, with animals, really. Stuff completely inhumane, idiotic stuff that... No matter how much you would want to see them in a positive light, you cannot. Uh, even that some of these people maybe were even interested in helping me out later on, or something like this, I don't know. Um, Americans didn't know how to use it. Americans knew exactly how to take advantage of this stuff. 
and Ruskis were eager to assist them. And so the Warsawa, Moraviecki, Duda, the Kaczynski students, Kaczynski, Kaczynski was Kaczynski, we're going to do, yes, you know, all the stuff you're going to go through, this is going to be like a test, you know, like a test. And the whole test is the stuff that any psychologist, if you evaluate this case, and I, like I said, I have not spoken half about it, he's going to tell you that this is so overwhelming with such intensity done, stuff to the person that person would literally go mad because of the such a crazy stuff issues with such intensity is <laughs> something also psychologists have suggested me uh, under MK Ultra the case would be they will that they will evaluate the stuff and that the truth is gonna come out and stuff like that you know I don't know anything about that the only thing I can tell you is this stuff, if I don't say it, maybe not even this is ever going to come out. I'm skeptical about the whole thing like you don't believe, for completely obvious reasons. And so that they're going to do something that they're not going to like it. I, obviously Americans, that Americans are not going to like it. And the cluster... The cluster was done in a such a way that it was good that I did not publish this thing, this whole thing. The next thing you hear, like I said, inside of the medical office, they're gonna it's like we find out they're gonna do something like this to you, they're gonna do something like this to you. You're gonna do this. You're gonna do that. You're gonna you're gonna take the sample of this. You're gonna take a sample of that. And of course, you as a human being, the first concern is the same shit like with the radiation, with the stuff they have created. Is this gonna cause like either brain cancer or bone cancer? When they start talk about brain cancer, when they talk about bone cancer, how would you like to go to physician and they'll tell you, hey, you got a brain cancer, you got a bone cancer. Would you like it? You think it's a traumatic? What about if I tell you this under MK Ultra? Would you be traumatized like this? Would you ask at least, can this, what, why, you know, you would go into the panic mode. Like, can this be cured at least or whatever? Even if you are under MK Ultra, you would be interested in knowing shit like this, is what I'm trying to say. And it was like, yeah, maybe this and that. It will be depend on how what how you gonna see things as and shit like this. This is what this was all like this. It always was done in a such a way that you would just give up. You know, give up on life basically. The last act Donald Trump did was in 2017. Brought me here from Belarus, Russians brought me here, started to complain about it, I started to write against him. I campaigned for this criminal, you can see the videos, like for two years I supported his US election as a presidential election, and I did so until I realized that nothing ever changed, that this psychiatrist keep fucking ringing home, telephone keep ringing, visitations, psychiatric terror continue to go on. Then I realized that having Donald Trump as a US president, that US citizenship, it's not worth that shit, really. I realized that man is nothing more than a traitor, a sellout. And today Assange, by the way, for whom he said he doesn't know him, and he knows him very well, can tell you the same thing. He started to complain to me here in Poland that this is my last chance, that he shouldn't even do this to help me out, that I'm supposed to go through this girl's city, evaluate one. 
see the whole thing, tell the whole thing as it is. This is going to be the last time. And so on and so forth. Kaczynski cried about that they wouldn't have done it anyways and so on. I don't deserve it and stuff like that. And when the Russians brought me inside of the stores, subject me to the torture right in front of the store owners here in Zgersh. I created a tremendous cluster, not only in Zgersh, but also in Watch, in front of the people, in front of the store owners, who were totally, by the way, terrified. Ruskis suggested, this is a special video I'm going to create, what the Ruskis have done. Ruskis created, it was without knowledge of Americans first. And then they suggested that Donald Trump actually is going to be grateful for, for this stuff. They're just going to do that like a form of insurance. And Donald Trump might most likely will be grateful to them for what they have done. American, supposedly his son of Donald Trump, not recognized as a son from Colorado, a teacher of English here in Poland, whom I have met, looks really like a Donald Trump. It looks like a Donald Trump. This was the man who had me most of the time. And Donald Trump demanded for him to handle this case and report him everything about MK Ultra to him personally about this specific case. Gestured that there was like arguing why I was brought in 2017 because they lied about everything in 2017 everything that was done over the years they changed everything that he wouldn't have done this stuff unless they would allow him to do also some other stuff and so on but that he wouldn't have done it otherwise and the one who was guilty for everything because this is what the Polish side have told me later on. They have created like, under MK Ultra, they have created like a scenario, like indirectly. It was like a yelling. Donald, Donald Trump uh, yelled at us that he didn't know about this. It, it, it was like yelling and it was again attempt for me to make me to see Polish people like a traitors. Because people who were friends, really, when I was brought to their stores and they tried to assist me, try to help me to memorize when the stores are open and stuff like this, all of a sudden it was done in their stores, completely cluster scenario. And that's the kind of stuff when you would go and when you would go and start to identify this stuff and all these memories would mix. Uh, usually the ones to come to the surface first is the one that took place last time. It created a bunch of problems. And very likely individual would start to see people alone as a traitors. Especially because Mr. Kaczynski added to this admixture. At another point, and you would have older people, all kinds of people, they would literally go in your face and make you know all kinds of uh, <clears throat> facial like you know grimaces like disapproving stuff that you make a mistake and it's gonna be disaster and this and what you said and you know exactly what happened by the way So that's all there is in respect to the knee injury. Um, what's going on with the knee, I do not know. 
this started already this was like this started to look like this already sometimes in november december what have they gestured for this stuff that it's going to stay permanent for life that is going to be disfigurement like this that will probably even grow that bones are going to have to be probably um i don't know that I'm going to have to go through the surgeries occasionally, that I'm not going to be capable to walk, and stuff like this, beautiful stuff like this. This is just a usual divide and conquer, but this is this stuff is bestial, folks. This is not okay. Uh, we have Adolf Hitler in the United States of America in a presidential chair today. And seems that people somehow ignore this fact. And a lot of people suffered probably even worse fate than I did. It's a lot of people that, that died out of nowhere. Shootings, all kinds of stuff that goes on. The Democrat Party have displayed total incompetence, just like Obama did. And they did so, so they opened the door to the evil. Evil doesn't come alone to the power. For the evil to exist, uh, conditions are necessary, just like for everything else. And that's how Donald Trump spiraled himself to the top. Donald Trump is, is a bone and brain cancer of the United States of America in this world. You don't even have to worry about too much about Russians anymore because of what you have inside of the White House. I don't even know what to say. What kind of injury do I actually have on my knee? I do not know, but I suppose that you can do stuff like this with injection. I suppose you can do something like this, and that's the stuff also they did talk about something about injecting something, something like this. I don't know. I have no idea. The only thing I know is that man is worse than pathological liar, is a maniac, and is dangerous, and... Now, you were able alone to see what uh, uh, what already he have produced. Thanks for watching this video. Two chargers, look, they look about the same because they were bought in the same stores, in the same store. The only thing I did was later on I marked them. The thing is, I got a bunch of black like this, and I can't help myself when it comes to this type of paranoia, schizophrenia issues. What you will say and what you will not say. He said to me, and I was really hurt because, by the way, I treated him really, really well. I treated him like you couldn't treat a person better than I treated him. And he said, how do you know that Hassan did this to you, the roommate I was with? How did he destroy me, all that stuff? No, oh, you see? Um, he said, but you don't have a proof. You don't have this, you don't have that. You, you did not, did you catch him? Did you, did you record him? Did you, something like this, that he would have done stuff like this. And, you know, when you plug this thing in the wall, and you go to the restroom, it takes about 10 seconds, maybe even less, to get one change with another, same kind of plug. And that one right there might not function, as a matter of fact. They all were opened, modified, so that when electricity would change here, this is yet the video I have to post, they simply would blow. This is the way they are done. See, 
shoes, three pairs of sneakers were slid to me. And they were not slid to me with uh, what I initially believed would be a knife. Um, and because on one of them, I did found a cut, a knife cut. This has just happened. It's really interesting stuff. And it's all related together. On the new one, this is basically brand new, brand new pair of sneakers. This one I bought. This one I really bought just This one I really bought just, uh, I'm going to say, probably I bought this, I don't know, in November, maybe something like this I bought it. Was it in November? Uh, December, November, November, probably. And I had these shoes, I can tell you, I wear them perhaps about... Not much at all. I maybe walked with these shoes maybe to Zgirsh, maybe just about, maybe on about a dozen occasions, not even this. These are like new shoes and you can see here the, you can see how, how it looks, the whole thing, uh, versus let's say this one here, which is the old one. Uh, I don't even use this, I only have for the inside. Okay, the point here is that what you have seen definitely was done with a knife. This thing was done... This thing was done... I don't know, this thing was done probably within the last two weeks, I would say. Uh, I estimate... So, because I did not pay attention to it, because I didn't wear them. I wear it, instead of that, I wear it a second pair of sneakers this one here you see this one on which about I'm gonna say just about a week ago something like this I have realized uh, that there's like a big ass hole right here like this and I was thinking about this must have been done with a knife. It does, it sure looks like it was done with a knife. It looks like this, it looks like because... It looks like this because it's, it's, it's on the bottom you can see the fabric. You can see right on the bottom you can see the fabric. If it would have been done with this thing here... Um... For which I was told also can do the stuff like this. I could be guilty of. Of doing something like this. But then about a month and a half earlier. This pair of sneakers also was slit with a knife. I can tell you this is, this also is a knife. And this here, this is how it was opened with a knife. And so I could be guilty of a lot of stuff of a lot of things I could be guilty of. The thing is that it's not only that of course I would not go and do the stuff like this uh, and of course that doesn't even look it was something like this but I was taught you know crazy it is, as it is under MK Ultra that stuff like this actually can do the stuff like that to the shoes.
I'm saying because you see that why this is what I have to get to that kind of stuff. I have to, if I am not going to be talking about the stuff like this, then why should I be talking about anything at all? I should be just like quiet about everything because that that's the kind of stuff you are not going to be talking about. The knee injury most likely is injury that was created by some sort of probably I would say vaccine something whatever they have used to create to cause something in that part of the uh, bone something in 2017 and I would say most likely like 100% is related to the roof cleaning because the gentleman whom I have met in the hospital with a broken leg you cannot prove this from the paperwork that his bone eventually was injured in uh, I don't know in in 2000 and 2010 2008 you're not gonna go and prove this stuff this is the stuff you're not gonna prove and if you're gonna say the stuff like this of course you're gonna look like a paranoid schizophrenic but then again because I have proven beyond any doubts that this case actually is real that it exists I think it's really really important to go into direction so that people can see what psychiatrists and psychologists have created in this case. The case almost, if I would not obtain like physical proofs and stuff, it would almost look identical as if I would be completely crazy, paranoid, whatever. And this is very, very important for me to talk about this stuff because if I don't talk about this stuff, and people that said they're going to help in respect to this case, then I don't really know what exactly they meant by this, that they're going to help. There is a lot of other people that are subjected to this type of stuff. And it's like a disease. It's like a, it's like a contagious disease that goes around, that they do the stuff like this to the people. And it's like normal for the people to be like completely quiet about it. It's like a kind of a rape culture. You can do to the person, uh, like a boss can do to, to, the, to the female, whatever, and she's going to be quiet or she's going to be diagnosed as insane and stuff like that. It's a crazy, weird kind of culture that I feel I would, in a way, become part of it if I would not talk about it. And if I'm not going to talk about this stuff, what exactly should I talk? I should be quiet about this and pretend like nothing happened, that everything is like, uh, it's just a coincidence and so on. They did clean those roofs over there. Those ladies are related straight to the Warsaw, just as I have explained. And they did anticipate it, that this type of injury will happen. Not that it will happen, but it's a possibility, it's a chance that one could develop if you would do this kind of work. And, you know, when it comes to stuff they have gestured, like uh, anywhere from liver cirrhosis, uh, brain cancer, uh, to certain parts of the body that would fail, and all this is stuff that would cause you uh, hypertension, uh, that, uh, I don't know, that you saw the bicarbonate is going to cause you hypertension, all that kinds of shit. Uh, but they would, at the same time, they would decline to do like a normal health examination with respect to the blood pressure and stuff like this. Uh, hypertension, I should say. They suggested diabetes, all kinds of shit like this. And they actually counted that I somehow would develop one because I would stay inside and so on and so forth and under this type of stuff. And there is none. A blood is still top of the rating. Everything is like perfect but the radiation is just you know you can't say that there is no there is no microwaving that these things don't exist 
And when you're wake up, when you're woken up like at one o'clock in the morning, at six o'clock in the morning, like punctually like this for months, uh, I don't know. Then that probably that might be something about it. It's got nothing to do even with the sugar because I could take as much sugar as I want and it doesn't affect things. But on the other hand, the sweetener that I have, that one it does. Uh, so that means that that sweetener, whatever is inside, is going to go to the police station for analysis. Uh, something is not regular with that kind of stuff. So you see, that's why, yeah, by the way, three pairs of shoes, I was going to say, it's not only that kind of stuff that you would do like this, that you wouldn't have a proof. You got to take in account that I have been here in this place for about like nine months. And for nine months, uh, at least for eight months, I should say, uh, I didn't experience with the shoes any problems. I have suggested they're going to do this because they have done that kind of stuff on their MK Ultra. They were playing <laughs> with this kind of stuff. Uh, and you know that you would have but three pairs of shoes destroyed within one month, actually two within, I don't know, one or two weeks and stuff like this. This isn't really... Um, this really doesn't sound that, you know, I would be using, you know, some kind of a stuff like this or that I would be doing, I don't know what that I would be doing. Okay, so uh, I think that's important stuff to understand. I think they have injected something in, in a bone, uh, caused some form of something in, in a bone marrow, wherever they have done. I don't know what they have done to it, but when you clean, when you clean a roof, you are uh, you're using legs in a very specific position and it's probably that thing triggered something they have done they started to think about contemplate this in 2015 and definitely was done in 2017 that's how that was done with donald trump the only thing that changed is you no longer have to worry about russians alone because you no longer know where the bullet is coming from. This is what Donald Trump did.